Number one, we will keep safety, particularly for teenagers, as a top priority for us. Number two, we will firewall protected US data from unwanted foreign access. Number three, TikTok will remain a place for free expression. Say with a hundred percent certainty that TikTok does not use the phone's camera to determine whether the content that elicits a pupil dilation should be amplified by the algorithm. I don't uh, have uh, no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> we do not collect body, face, or voice data to identify our users. We do not. The, the, the How, only well, you, you don't? The, no. The only face data that you get, that we collect, is when you use the filters to have, say, sunglasses on your face, we need to know where your eyes are. And Why that, do you need it, to know what the eyes are and, if you're not seeing if they're dilated? And, and that data is stored on your local device and deleted after use if you use it for facial. Again, we do not collect body, face, or voice data to identify our users. I find that hard to believe. It's iron. You know, I agree with the congressman 100%. You know why? Because we doing it to our own population, to our own teenagers. Congressman Carter, he already knows the answer to every question that he's asking, Mr. Chu. He just wants to see how he's answering them, how he's going to answer them. Lizzie Graham Jr. Leave. It's our understanding that they're looking at the eyes. How do you determine what age they are then? Um, we rely on age gating as our key age assurance. Age gating, which is when you ask the user what age they are. We have also developed some tools where we look at their public profile um, to go through the videos that they post to see whether... Well, that's creepy. Tell me more about that. Damn it, man, this is no time to panic. Well, when the fuck do we start to panic? TikTok employees that live in China, they must cooperate with Chinese intelligence whenever they are called upon. And if they are called upon, they're bound to secrecy. That would include you. So, Mr. Chu, if the CCP tells ByteDance to turn over all data that TikTok has collected inside the U.S., even within Project Texas, do they have to do so? Shit. Here come Debo. Give me your stuff. Oh, shit. Known for jacking the nigga. That's all he do. Damn. What you think they gonna do? Chinese government come through there asking for documentation, computers relating to TikTok, and, and all they gotta do is say, um, it's espionage. Uh, you're working with the Americans. We need all of your documentation. They gonna drop it off. They gonna drop it like it's hot or go to jail. Congressman, first, I'm, I'm Singaporean. Um, That's fine, yeah. but there are employees of yours and bite dances in China. We, we understand this concern. In my opening statement, we said, we hear these concerns, we didn't try to avoid them or you know, trivialize them. We built something where we take that data and put it out of reach. The Chinese Communist Party is engaged in psychological warfare through TikTok to deliberately influence U.S. children. Kia boys, coming to your town near you. Chicago, Memphis, St. Louis, Baltimore, New York, everywhere. Where is your emergency? Someone just stole my car from my job site. They busted my windshield and got inside of it. A circulating TikTok challenge has reportedly seen the thefts of Kia's and Hyundai's soul. The challenge involves breaking into the cars, removing the ignition cover, and starting the engine with a USB plug. -in. It's a trend our investigative teams have been covering from coast to coast. You know, I never would have thought in a million years my daughter would have put herself in that type of situation, seeing a video, seeing how they were. On Monday morning, Amanda Maxwell received a call that her 14-year-old daughter, Ajane, lost her life in a car crash. But I know some of y'all might be saying, well, you know, the parents should know where your child is at at all times. Well, I agree and I disagree because I think back on myself personally, from my own experience, what type of teenager I was, I know for a fact that my parents didn't know everything that I was getting into. 
So it's, it looks like this is one of those incidents where sometimes as teenagers we will make bad decisions and sometimes those bad decisions will actually cost us our life. Well, y'all, let me know what y'all think. Does TikTok really have a chokehold on our children's minds so to make them go out and steal kids? Or is this just a big diversion for something that is more important, a bigger picture like school shootings? Let me know what y'all think. But that's my time. And before y'all get on up out of here, y'all know what to do. Hit that like, hit that subscription, hit that notification, baby. This is Chan. This is the Shepherd This is a podcast, man. 